ever pondered what it means to be economically independent as a nation or how a country can leverage its own resources to drive its growth. Welcome to the fascinating world of economic nationalism, a concept that places the economy of a nation into its own hands. This ideology emphasizes domestic control of the economy, labor and capital formation. It's about making the most of what a country has. To the benefit of its people, think of it as a nation playing to its strengths. It's like a self-sufficient household that grows its own food, uses its own energy sources and builds its own furniture. This might require the imposition of tariffs and other restrictions on the movement of labor, goods and capital. It's a strategy that encourages local production and consumption, fostering an environment where the nation's economy can thrive on its own terms. In the historical context of India, this concept was not just theoretical, but a powerful movement that shaped its economic and political future, the Swadeshi movement. The genesis of the Swadeshi movement traces back to the early 20th century during the British colonial rule in India. A significant catalyst was the partition of Bengal in 1905, a divisive political strategy employed by Lord Curzon, the then Viceroy of India. The British rulers aimed to weaken the nationalistic fervor by splitting Bengal, a province known for its strong intellectual and political activism. However, the partition sparked nationwide protests and led to the birth of the Swadshi movement. But what was the Swadshi movement? Well, it was more than a political protest. It was a socio-economic strategy aimed at self-sufficiency and national pride. The term Swadshi originates from two Sanskrit words. Swa meaning self and Desh meaning country. So Swachi essentially means of one's own country. The movement encouraged the Indian populace to boycott British products and promote the use and production of Indian goods instead. It was a call to awaken the masses to the economic exploitation by the British and to instill a sense of self-reliance and dignity. From hand-spun cotton to locally made salt, the Swachi movement touched every aspect of daily life turning mundane activities into acts of political defiance. The Swachi movement also saw the resurgence of traditional Indian industries that had been overshadowed by the influx of British goods. This included textiles, salt, sugar and various cottage industries. The revival of these industries was not just an act of rebellion but also a means of economic survival and growth. But the Swachi movement was not just about boycotting foreign goods, it was about reviving domestic products and production processes. It was about creating a sense of national identity through economic self-sufficiency. The movement was about taking control of their own lives, their own economy and their own country. The Swadeshi movement was about asserting India's economic sovereignty in the face of colonial exploitation. In essence, the Swadshi movement was not just about boycotting foreign goods, but also about reviving domestic products and production processes. The Swadshi movement was marked by a series of significant events that unfolded over time. The movement traces its roots to the anti-partition agitation that erupted in 1905 in response to the British decision to partition Bengal. This decision sparked widespread discontent, leading to a formal launch of the Swadeshi movement on August 7, 1905. The essence of the movement was the boycott of British goods and the promotion of Indian products, or Swadshi which literally means of one's own country. It was a powerful economic strategy that aimed to cripple the British economy and bolster Indian industries. As the movement gathered momentum, it led to the formation of various Swadeshi enterprises. In 1906, the Bengal National College was established, marking a significant step in the direction of self-reliance in education. The same year saw the establishment of the National Council of Education aimed at promoting technical and scientific education in India. Meanwhile, Indian industries flourished with the Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company being set up in 1906 to counter the monopoly of British shipping companies. The year 1907 saw the establishment of the Bengal Immunity Company which was involved in the production of vaccines and sera marking an important milestone in the field of Indian pharmaceuticals. However, the movement began to lose steam by 1908 due to several factors, including the lack of unity among leaders and the inability to sustain the boycott of foreign goods. 
By 1911, the movement had largely concluded but not before leaving a lasting legacy. The Swachi movement was not just a strategy for economic independence, it was a symbol of collective resistance and self-reliance. It ignited the spirit of nationalism and played a crucial role in shaping the course of the Indian freedom struggle. The Swadeshi movement left an indelible mark on the Indian socio-economic fabric, inspiring several future initiatives for economic self-reliance. The economic implications of the Swadeshi movement were profound and far-reaching. This patriotic wave of economic nationalism not only stirred the sentiments of millions, but also significantly influenced the Indian economy. Firstly, the Swadeshi movement led to the growth of Indian industries. As the call for boycott of British goods echoed across the nation, the demand for indigenous products soared. This sparked the establishment of numerous small-scale industries, especially textile mills, which were the hallmark of this movement. The production of Swadeshi goods like khadi cloth, soap, matchsticks and stationary items gave a significant boost to India's industrial sector. The movement also nurtured indigenous entrepreneurship. Many enterprising Indians, inspired by the Swadeshi spirit, ventured into business and industry. They set up factories, mills and workshops, thereby giving a fillip to entrepreneurship in India. This wave of entrepreneurship eventually led to the creation of many iconic Indian brands that we know and admire today. But the impact of the Swadeshi movement was not confined to industries and entrepreneurship alone. One of the most significant economic impacts was the establishment of national banks and insurance companies. These institutions were instrumental in mobilizing the savings of the people and channeling them into productive investments. The Swadeshi movement thus laid the foundation for a robust banking and financial system in India. Moreover, the movement also fostered a sense of economic self-reliance among the people. It made them realize the importance of self-sufficiency and encouraged them to contribute to the nation's economic growth through their hard work and entrepreneurial ventures. In conclusion, the Swachi movement had a profound impact on India's economy. It spurred industrial growth, promoted entrepreneurship and led to the establishment of financial institutions. It instilled a sense of economic nationalism that still resonates in the hearts of Indians. The Swadeshi movement thus sowed the seeds for India's economic independence and industrial growth. The Swadeshi movement, in essence, was a turning point in India's fight against colonial rule and economic exploitation. This pivotal movement was born out of the partition of Bengal in 1905, a political maneuver by the British to divide and weaken the nationalist fervor. The Indian society responded with a robust wave of economic nationalism, which we know as the Swadeshi movement. The Swadeshi movement was a clarion call for self-reliance. It was a bold stand against the economic exploitation of India by the British. The objective was clear, to promote indigenous industries and boycott foreign goods, thereby crippling the British economy. The movement was a strategic tool for economic decolonization and it sparked a sense of unity and nationalism among the masses. The timeline of the Swadeshi movement is adorned with significant milestones. It started in earnest in 1905 and gained momentum until 1911. During these six years, the movement saw widespread participation from all walks of life, students, merchants, artisans, and even women who took to spinning and weaving as a form of protest against imported textiles. Now, the impact of the Swadeshi movement on India's economy was profound. It gave a significant boost to indigenous industries, particularly the textile industry, which was severely affected by the influx of cheap British goods. The movement also fostered a spirit of entrepreneurship and led to the establishment of several Indian-owned businesses and banks. In conclusion, the Swadeshi movement was an economic revolution that left an indelible mark on India's fight for freedom. It was more than a boycott of foreign goods. It was an assertion of India's economic independence and self-sufficiency. The Swadeshi movement was not just a chapter in India's freedom struggle, but a testament to the power of economic nationalism and self-reliance.